I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review of the Barricade Trail Force HD full width front bumper fitting all 2007 to 2016 JKs. This bumper is also available in a slightly narrower mid width version. This bumper is for those of you who want full width protection up front, you aren't afraid of adding a little bit of weight to the front of your Jeep and you don't have to worry about clearance issues between large tires and bumpers. I like this bumper in particular because it adds all of that protection Plus it adds a bunch of features to the front of your Jeep and it does it all at a lower price tag than some of the other options on the market. This bumper is built from 532nds inch steel plate and it has a two stage textured powder coated finish with an epoxy pre-coating. As you mentioned, this is a full width bumper so it gives you protection from one fender flare all the way across to the Jeep to the other side. Aside from protection, this bumper has a few other features that I really like. One is the D-ring mounts up front here that are welded on both the inside and the outside and bolt directly into the frame horns of the Jeep. I prefer having a D-ring over the factory tow hook because with a D-ring like this, you know that your tow strap or winch line is gonna stay in place without having the opportunity to pop off of a tow hook. Aside from that, I like that you can use your factory fog lights in this bumper. If you have a factory plastic front bumper, you can remove your fog lights and they'll bolt right into here without any cutting or drilling. Unfortunately, if you have a factory metal Mopar bumper from a special edition JK, those fog lights will not work in here. Aside from the fog lights, this bumper also has two light mount tabs up on the bumper hoop. And something that I really like is there are holes drilled in the bumper hoop to help you to run the wires really cleanly. Aside from that, you have a built-in 12,000 pound winch plate that will allow you to mount a winch without the need for any additional hardware. And the opening up front here is plenty wide, so whether you're running a Hawes fair lead in a synthetic line or a roller fair lead in a steel line, there's no chance of the line contacting the bumper. Down below, there are some holes that are drilled in the bumper for a little bit of weight savings, but also just for style. In fact, this bumper still weighs a little over 100 pounds. So like I mentioned, you have to be okay adding that weight up front, and there's a chance that you could have a little bit of suspension sag. It's my personal opinion that this full width bumper looks really good on a JK that has factory flares or even wider than factory flares. If you are running a flat flare that tapers in in the front, I think it's a little bit of a mismatch to have such a wide fender on a narrow body Jeep, but it's up to you. Getting this bumper installed on your Jeep is really easy, just like installing most other aftermarket bumpers. The first step is to remove the eight nuts on the factory bumper so that you can remove that completely. After that, you can reinstall the new bumper. This bumper has six welded studs and two bolts that hold it into the same factory locations as the front bumper mounts to. So again, no drilling, it makes installation really easy. It does help if you have a die to run that over these studs because they can have a little bit of residual powder coat on them and it'll make getting the nuts on the studs a lot easier without the chance of stripping them. Also, if you plan on installing a winch on this bumper, I would recommend installing that on the bumper on the ground and then putting the winch and the bumper on the Jeep all as one package. It can be a little bit difficult to get to those winch bolts once the bumper is installed on the Jeep. Along those same lines, you will want to install your factory fog lights into the bumper before putting it on the Jeep. The whole process should take about two hours and you won't need any specialty tools to get this bolted up. However, I've said it over and over again, this is a full width bumper that is heavy. You'll definitely want to have an extra set of hands around to help you install it, or if you don't, an engine hoist can be really helpful when installing these large heavy bumpers. I think you do get a lot of value for the cost of this bumper. Of course, there are less expensive mid-width and stubby bumpers, but there's a reason that this would cost more. There's a lot more material here, there's a lot more that goes into building something like this. And this is gonna be a lot less expensive than some of the top tier bumper manufacturers. And there's a reason for that as well. If you take a look at the welds on this bumper, maybe they haven't been smoothed out quite as much as some of those others. Or maybe the powder coat isn't quite as consistent. But for an item like a bumper that is going to possibly take some abuse if you take your Jeep out on the trail, I personally would rather go with something like this than to spend two, three, four hundred dollars more than this on an item that could get a little bit beat up. So if you're looking to add full width protection and a bunch of features on the front of your Jeep and you're okay adding a good bit of weight, I would recommend this bumper. It looks good, it's really well built, and it's less expensive than some of the top brand bumpers on the market. So that's my review of the Barricade Trail Force HD full width front bumper fitting all 2007 to 2016 JKs that you can find right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.